Hey, this is Mikey at the Hair Business Blueprint, and this is the second video in my Shopify email marketing system training. If you missed the first video, make sure you visit my channel to watch it because it's important for you to have a full understanding of the entire system. In this tutorial, I will show you the features and benefits of the Shopify email marketing system. I personally really like the seamless integration between Shopify and their email marketing system because Shopify honestly makes managing your email marketing, getting everything set up and integrated really, really easy. So let's get into it, check it out, all the different features that the Shopify email marketing system offers. Okay, I'm in the back end of one of our Shopify test stores that we use for training. So there's not too much data and other stuff in here. So if you're wondering, this is not one of the regular private label stores back end, which is really, really filled with stuff and complicated. So let's go check this out. If you're in the back end dashboard, you're just gonna go to apps and then you'll see here we have the Shopify email app already installed. So let's go ahead and click this and it'll take us into the Shopify email marketing system. Okay, as you can see, really simple layout right here. Uh, pretty much all you're gonna be doing is creating an email campaign or viewing your past campaigns. Uh, let's go into creating an email campaign so I can just walk you through some of the basics of what I really like about this system. Of course, they do have this reminder, you know, you get the 2,500 free emails to send this month. So that is a benefit there. You do get to get to send a lot of emails for free. Um, so there's definitely no excuse for you not to be collecting emails and building out your list because it's really important for the success of your online hair or beauty store. Uh, so by default, you can see there's different ones here. So you can uh, categorize those. You can go email type, you can do a promo, product highlights, you know, so you can go through here and you'll see mine, it says tequila bundles. And it's just something I made up um, because I like tequila and I like bundles. Uh, so basically you can see what types of emails that you want to send out. Let's go into one that is a promo email. Okay, so you can see here, you know, meet this month's bestseller. You can do XYZ type, uh, product. Let's go ahead and select this. Okay, once again, they are reminding us about this. They wanna make sure you know this is completely free, but eventually you will have to pay, uh, but that's okay. So right away, let's look at this, all subscribers. I just subscribe myself uh, within the back end. Uh, so you can go to the customers page if you wanted to do a little test yourself. All you would do is create customers page. This is gonna pop up, you can see here. And if you wanna add a customer, you just click add customer, name, first name, last name, email address. And then once you do that, make sure that you have clicked the customer agree to receive email marketing. So that way you can send yourself a test, maybe a second email address to see what your emails look like. Okay, so we can, you know, this already has the segmentation built out or starting to build out uh, new, haven't purchased yet, you know, have purchased in the past, and then you can create different things for like VIP customers, uh, but we're just gonna do all subscribers. Okay, so be specific and concise to spark interest. You generally wanna have a short and very concise title. Uh, it doesn't always have to be promo based. It could be something kind of catchy, uh, really good. What I do like about this feature right here, this is the personalization tab. So if I wanted to say um, like, hey, and then Michael, so that's me or Mikey, first name. So it's gonna have the first name, you know, hey Mikey, exclamation point, check this out. You know, something like that. Uh, I'm not actually gonna build out a full email in this tutorial, we're just gonna walk through the features. In the next tutorial, uh, you will make sure to uh, go through all this because I'm gonna build out your next email to, uh, template. So preview text, the preview text is a lot of times you'll see in your emails, it'll have the subject line and then you're gonna have the preview text. It's kind of like an, an intro to the email and the subject. So once again, you have personalization options there. I do like that. 
uh, who it's from. So this is basically uh, already pulls the data in from your Shopify store. So once you get your Shopify launched, uh, store launch, make sure that you have your at domain email address. So if your e if your website is besthairbundles.com, make sure it's sales at besthairbundles.com or service at besthairbundles.com and not besthairbundles at gmail.com. I reiterate this a lot because I still see a lot of people uh, not doing that and how important it is. Okay, so what's cool about this, it kind of builds this out for you already where you're gonna go in and you're gonna update the text. The system font, so this is taking the exact font from your website. It already has the colors from your website. So if I go over here to show you the test store that I have built, uh, this is not super pretty. It's just something I threw together. You'll see how I have some of the colors are like the gray and the purple. This is already importing these into our system. So that's actually really helpful so you stay on brand. But if you wanted to change the font, you could do so here. Uh, if you wanted to add color to the background, you could do so here. Um, you know, and you can go through these different sections. You have the ad section. So there's all these different features, gift card, product, divider, image, button, text. I mean, this is pretty full featured. Uh, it's a regulation that you need to have the address where it's being sent from at the bottom. Uh, you can choose or not choose a phone number. You can do social media icons. So if you already have these set up in your store, they're already gonna come here for you. And you know they're gonna appear as you enter in all the different uh, links. So that's really special and super easy. I can tell you the way you know, that Shopify just brings everything over from your store into their email marketing system is gonna make creating emails really easy. Um, you know, do I think Shopify email marketing is the absolute best email marketing system? I don't, but I think if you're in your first year or maybe even two years, this is a fantastic, low cost, high value, easy to use system for your hair business, beauty business, or if you're just watching this and you have a widget business, whatever it is, you know, you get the point. Uh, so what you can do here is you can, uh, you can send a test, you can review. This allows you to see what it's gonna look like on a mobile device, which is kind of nice because sometimes, you know, people go all crazy with their design and it looks horrible on mobile. Remember, most people that are opening this email are gonna be opening it on mobile. So it's easy to design on desktop, but make sure you're checking the mobile version. You can see here how it makes it smaller. Uh, you can change, you know, in here, all the different items as far as what product you wanna choose by hitting change. You can see all your different products. You know, you can go this, add, and you'll see it'll add a second product. It already adds the links, basic descriptions, everything else. If you wanna change the photo, you can do that. Uh, if you don't have your alt text, that's something you definitely wanna add. Uh, just in case your photo doesn't load, it's gonna have the alt text that's gonna show up. Also, I find that Email, uh, email providers like when you have alt text because it seems less uh, spammy or scammy. Um, but you know you can go through here in the description, uh, everything else, it already comes in, which is nice. You can change the fonts, the colors, you know, if there's something special that you wanted to do. You know, so now that I added that second product, we have two products here. You can do different columns and such. You know, for me, I tend to like having just big, bold com columns. It's a lot easier. Uh, but if we wanted to do a two column system, you can see this. Uh, so maybe if you have like a, you're promoting a blog post or something else, you might do that. And then over here, you're gonna have something that is, um, you know, split up. Now, this is pushing a lot of information down. So what you can do here is you can click description and it'll hide the description, which, you know, looks a lot cleaner uh, because it does have the full description there. So you can see this, so let's go back here and let's go back to the products and we can click on a product and you can switch it around. Very, very easy. Um, as you can see, this is you know super easy to navigate, super easy to work with. Um, you can move this up if you wanted to move that here and then move this marketing message down here. 
is real easy. You can uh, delete this column or this section here. If you wanted to duplicate it because you know you really like this or you wanted to maybe add products, you know, do something like this. Let me show you. So we duplicate this and we have that. You're probably going to change those products, but let's just say you move this down here, you know, so that way you kind of want to split up some of the products, maybe with a new title or description. You can do that. Uh, this is my logo. So this is the actual logo. I just made it a text-based logo, super simple in Canva. Make sure that you're using a PNG image with a um, transparent background because if this had a black background it's not going to fit in here and look really good of course if you wanted to change the background for this I don't always recommend it uh, because it can start getting kind of ugly uh, you can do so let's see here so let's choose a yellow you can see this you can see all the color designs but generally you want to keep your email backgrounds really plain and simple with white for the most part and let your images or you know your graphics within your email really pop. Uh, so you can see you know you have a review button. Oh affiliate plans can send that okay cut that out there. Okay so this is a uh, basic it saves it as a draft so if you wanted to uh, send a test you can click that here and you can go back here to campaigns I already have uh, this set up as a draft as an untitled campaign uh, you can rename the campaign you can archive the campaign so as you're getting a bunch of campaigns sent out sometimes you just don't want to see all of them at once so sometimes it helps to archive it or you don't really want to send it out or you can just delete the campaign and that's totally fine too uh, what's going to be nice is it's going to show you, you know, the sessions here, how many sessions this campaign is uh, going to generate for you, your orders, your sales amount, and your cost. So make sure in Shopify you are adding your cost for the items. Uh, that's going to be part of other tutorials where I walk you through Shopify. Make sure you check that out on my Hair Business Blueprint uh, channel here because it's going to walk you through everything you need to know. Uh, so that's really the basics for the campaigns. I had another campaign I was just playing with previously. You'll see they start showing up. Uh, the orders, it's, it's pretty simple as you guys can see. So I don't want to make this video too long. So that's it for some of the basics to have a better understanding of all the features of the Shopify email campaigns. Uh, so in the next tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and build out an actual email uh, email for you guys and show you some additional features uh, so make sure you subscribe to the hair business blueprint channel give this video a thumbs up if it helped explain at least a little bit more for you of how to use this system and check out my upcoming video where we're actually going to build out and design an email campaign